Hey everybody, Chip Collins, Collins Group Realty here coming to you with a market pulse here uh, at the end of March, bringing data current through the end of February. And of course, we got a lot of things going on in the marketplace, in the economy, with the coronavirus, etc. But we still feel it's important to bring data to you so you kind of know what the trending looked like. Through the end of February, pending sales were up about 17% from the year-to-date period um, of 2019, just a year ago. So things are really, really looking very, very positive. Tons of momentum in the marketplace. As we've come into March, of course, things have gotten interesting. In fact, when we look at the first three weeks of March, pretty much on pace with where we were this time last year through, let's say, the first three weeks of March. But the last week, of course, we started to see some things tapering off. And the reality is, yes, we're seeing some buyers and some sellers saying, maybe this isn't the time for me to be active in the marketplace. We're fully, fully supporting and embracing and understanding that position. But there are other sellers and other buyers that are saying, this is the time for us to be active. And we're, of course, working responsibly, smartly, uh, and health conscious wise to make sure that we're bringing those things to fruition. So for instance, last uh, y yesterday, as a matter of fact, in our MLS, there were 18 new pending contracts that took place. So the market continues to go on despite the circumstances, which we're really, really encouraged by. So we hope you enjoy taking a look at the data here. We're gonna bring a weekly update to you uh, on what's happening every Sunday. Uh, we're also hosting certain webinars that are gonna be taking place. So take a look through the rest of this e-news and understand what we're trying to do to work virtually and remotely. I'm coming to you today from my home to yours. We hope you stay well and thanks for your time today.